Hi everyone, Josh Silver, Pulsed Energy here in Los Angeles. I uh, hope you guys had a great Easter and uh, everybody's doing well and being as safe as possible in these times. So uh, let me get right to it. We're getting a lot of requests on Instagram and on Facebook for stories about Pulsed Energy PEMF with different pro sports teams uh, or different athletes or celebrities or some amazing recovery and case stories. So this is like an ongoing or continuing sort of uh, a video story or timeline of different events. So today I'm going to tell you a story about uh, uh, fantasy football and how that influenced the Cubs uh, getting involved in PEMF technology. Uh, so the story starts off on Sunday, the last Sunday in August uh, uh, of 2015, August 30th, 2015. Uh, for any of you out there that, that play fantasy football, you'll know that that date is significant is because the last Sunday in August is usually when everybody has their fantasy football draft. It's the end of the preseason, and so the teams are ready to go, and uh, uh, that's typically when most of the groups have it. My fo fantasy football league that I participate in, I have friends of 20, 15, 20, 30 years, uh, so it's, it's, it's about as important as dinner to me. It's a, it's a big deal, and so, so that day was our fantasy draft. That morning, I had a, a meeting at the team, Cubs Team Hotel in Pasadena here in Los Angeles uh, with their head athletic trainer, uh, uh, PJ Mainville. And PJ I've known for a long time. He's a fantastic guy, uh, uh, an amazing friend, and really uh, uh, top of the line in terms of uh, certified athletic trainers and, and player care. I mean, there's really no one better than, than what they're doing over there at the Cubs. There's a few that are on the same level, but uh, they are, they're really cutting edge. And a lot of their players that I've talked to, they just, they just love what's going on there. So in any event, uh, I was meeting PJ for breakfast uh, at the team hotel because we were discussing the parameters of their purchase. The Cubs have purchased a couple PMF devices, and uh, this was their first one, and they wanted it custom size and custom shape. There's a big travel case that they usually take all their equipment and move around with so they wanted us to build it right into their their travel case so that's what we were talking about and we we sort of discussed i had a much better more portable travel demo unit for them to utilize during this time so i was going to stop by dodger stadium a little bit later like after our meeting uh and switch out units so that was my plan i i, I parted company with pj and uh uh he went back to his room and I got back in my car and I drove to Dodger Stadium. This is hours before the game started, so there was like nobody there. There was a few cars in the in the players' lot, a couple security people, but pretty much it was a ghost town and that's how it is and all of a sudden it fills up, you know, pretty quickly before the game. So in, in, in this particular case, it was a ghost town. My name was already on all the security list, so I went through the parking, through the tunnel, down into the stadium, through the elevator, and finally down to like the dark sweaty dungeon area where the, the visiting team's clubhouse is. And as I'm walking down the hallway, I can hear the faint tick of our PMF device. And somebody's using it. So I realize, oh, okay, somebody's on the machine. So I hear it stop as I get to the door. And uh, I walk in and there's nobody in the room. I was like, oh, okay, must have just missed somebody. So I unhook, un unplug the machine, start to collect all the items, and I'm going to take it out of the room and bring in the new machine. And, and as I'm taking it out, uh, a big tall guy who's a, 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 a sort of a, a beast of a man in terms of comparison to my size and my height uh, walks in and he says, hey, what are you doing with that man? And, and I was like, uh, nothing. I, I, and as I'm trying to explain that I'm a stupid, he's like, no, no, you're not taking that, are you? He's like, I need that. I have a big game today and I want to use the machine. And I was just stopping it to go get my phone and blah, 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 blah. And I was like, no, 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 I'm, I'm not taking it. I'm switching it out. They, they, I'm giving them a new one. And this is the old demo. It's coming back with me. It's much more quiet. And I'm trying to tell them things like, oh, okay, thank goodness. And so I'm like, oh, I know who you are. You're Jake. And he introduces himself and his name is Jake Arietta. I introduced myself as Josh Silver. Um, it was a big deal for me, not only because I was a baseball fan, but Jake was having his major breakout season, and he ended up uh, winning the, the Cy Young Award, uh, which is the, the best pitcher in the league that year. So he was having an amazing year, so it was cool for me to put two and two together and see that he was using the machine, and uh, he was having a breakout season. So I said, oh, you like the machine? He's like, oh, man, I love this machine. I use it all the time, and started talking about when he used it and how he used it. I was like, oh, dude, I, we need to have a conversation you know, maybe you can get involved in Pulse Energy and, you know, that way you can get your own machine forever. And he's like, oh, that'd be great. And, and so I told him I'd hit him up on Twitter afterwards, which I did. And we connected. And uh, he asked as I was leaving, hey, are you staying for the game? And I was like, oh, no. You know, normally I would. I'm like, actually, PJ offered me tickets and normally I would stay for the game. But uh, I can't. I've got my fantasy football draft. And it's with a bunch of, like, 
you know, friends from 20, 30 years, and uh, it's a big deal. And he got it. He understood. He's like, yeah, no worries. Next time, I'm like, yeah, next time I'll, I'll come and, and, and see you pitch. So we go, and, and, and he, he does his thing, and he goes to his game, and I go home, and I start doing my fantasy draft. And about the sixth inning, I look on ESPN, and I check the score, and I see that he's pitching a no-hitter, and he's up to nothing. And so I sort of tune in, and I see the seventh inning goes by, the eighth inning, the ninth inning, and boom. He throws a 2-0. He throws a no-hitter, winning the game 2-0 against the Dodgers. And uh, I turned down free tickets. I had the opportunity from the team and the guy who made the the pitch, who, 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 who threw the no-hitter, to go to this event as their guest, and I turned it down for my fantasy football draft. And uh, so needless to say... Uh, when I connected with him after that, I said to him, I was like, dude, I can't believe I didn't go to the game. And he says, yeah, I know, I know you, know, I owe you a no-hitter. So every time I've talked to Jake Arrieta since this time, I always kid around about, hey, dude, when am I going to get my no-hitter? And he's like, I know, I owe you one. He's like, it's so, so one of these days I'll get to a game and he'll throw a no-hitter. But I just thought it was a great story that uh, PEMF really was helping a, a, an elite top-level athlete at the right time. Uh, clearly he was getting the clinical outcomes. Clearly it was helping him. And uh, further than that, Boy, what a missed opportunity on my part. So the moral of the story is not only does PEMF help elite athletes, but don't turn down free tickets if you get the opportunity. So anyways, this is Josh Silver. This is one of my uh, PEMF therapy stories on uh, pro athletes. And uh, tune in to the next one, and we're going to have a story, uh, a little bit different type of story, uh, related to an amazing clinical outcome we saw about 10 years ago. Thanks, everyone. Be safe.